In our previous video, we discussed how the United Kingdom and Australia have liberalized traditional legal doctrines and made it easier for third parties to provide funding to litigants. This has permitted funders to play a larger role in strategic decision-making on matters such as settlement value and the financial analysis of the claim. This video explains in more detail why this liberalization makes sense. Third parties invest in litigation matters based on a sophisticated understanding of the financial value of the claim. Because lawyers are not necessarily experts in finance, third-party funders are often better able to help litigants understand what their claim is worth. They are also able to help them understand what costs are worth incurring in the pursuit of that claim. Through their specialized financial expertise, litigation funders can help by providing econometric principles and data to define sensible settlement ranges. In addition, the funder can assist in developing economic arguments for settlement negotiations. When a third party has an economic stake in a claim, it can function as an effective watchdog to keep litigation costs down. In many cases, a third party funder has vastly more experience than the litigant in dealing with the cost of discovery, expert witnesses, and other aspects of trial preparation. Moreover, many third-party funders have specific experience in project management that can be invaluable in making the litigation process efficient. Thus, a third-party funder can monitor the performance of the litigants' attorneys, making sure that they are meeting performance standards and keeping costs down. In addition, third-party funders often have more leverage in negotiating with a law firm for its fees and other costs. Here again, the funder's experience in managing litigation projects can assist a litigant who may never have been involved in a legal claim before. The funder can act as an intermediary between the litigant and the law firm with respect to billing issues. This can be especially valuable when the litigant is a business entity whose in-house counsel is supervising the litigation. In an extensive and potentially valuable litigation matter, managing the outside lawyers can be nearly a full-time job, even though it is only a portion of the in-house counsel's responsibility to his company. A third-party funder can remove some of this burden from in-house counsel, allowing in-house counsel to have more time for their full range of duties to the company. Finally, the presence of a third-party funder can help bring about faster and more lucrative settlements. When a third party risks its own funds on a case, its involvement is a signal to the opposing party that an objective outsider thinks the legal claim has merit. In a sense, a third-party funder can provide a reality check to an opposing party who might be resisting settlement. In this respect, permitting third-party funding does not drag litigation out. To the contrary, it can bring it to a swifter and more efficient conclusion. If you need help with litigation funding, call or email me today.